Hey guys, so thank you for joining us again. Um, today we're working with Miss Holly. Uh, you saw her brother, which was the um, uh, Yorkie with the really, really long hair. But um, this is a short video just to kind of show you how to remove um, massive eye boulders. Uh, this little one here has um, really dry eyes and a matted face. Mom loves to keep her really long, but you know, of course, with all pet parents, we love you guys. You want to keep your dog long, but you don't brush them, so the groomer gets stuck with it. But that's fine. I mean, this is our job. We love it. But once you start seeing this on your dog's eye, you got to start doing something, okay? Because th this is this is bad, okay? Oh, and also, just so you guys do not say that I'm bashing the pet parent, this video um, is being recorded uh, because we asked her if we could record, um, you know, her dog. Um, we wanted to show you guys that typically when a dog comes in with an eye like that, we do check to see what's going on and we do not use um, the scissors to cut it off while it's dry nor do we use the clipper to um to uh, uh you know clip it out either we have to wet the dog and you have to be very very careful to do that um you know her this eyes is not the same um let's see she's got crusties there and she does have a brother that she plays with but this is due to having dry eyes and um uh, I know she's been on medication for it, but please, please, we ask you guys, and this is for all the boomers asking their parents, if your dog's eye starts looking like this, all you have to do is take a wet wipe or or um, take a napkin, wet the napkin or, or warm it up, not hot, not heated hot, just warm it up a little bit, cool, um, put it on the dog's eye, okay, if they don't want to let you do it get someone to help you hold on to them so you can actually take care of this that way you don't end up with a vet bill I mean look at this she can't see like it's really bugging I, I, I want to say it hurts her because every time I touch it she flames so please see this is I know honey I know but this is pretty bad okay so this uh, uh what i'm gonna do is i'm i'm going to basically bald her eye area i'm just going to like round this up really tight um and i'm going to do the same thing with the other eye to match it um typically when i do that mom is not too happy about it but given that her eyes is like closed shut um so i have to do that there's no other possible way for me to like leave all that hair around her eye and when she comes back she's gonna come back with that same um problem um so we're gonna go in the tub and uh, we'll show you guys how to do that so i'm gonna use my clipper to remove this little bit here but i'm not going to use it anywhere near here until i get her face nice and wet all right honey hold on if it hurt, if it's hurting the dog, please put the dog in the shower to get it off. Use a flea comb. I know, honey. I know. I know. I know. I got you. I got you. I know. I got you. I got you. Just a little bit. Okay. So she's not letting me do it. I'm gonna try a scissor. My eye booger scissors. just to get a little bit out. You wanna be careful doing that because you don't know, um, you, you have to know which one is the uh, dog skin, which one is the booger. So if it's attached to it, if you don't know what you're doing, just let it be, leave it alone. Okay, just put it in the tub and do your best there. Let it soak. All right, so we got most of the uh, poop out, trimming around her eye. Just taking the hair off. I'm not touching the booger right now. Okay? This is what we have so far. We're gonna go and give her a bath. So here she is. Um, she's been soaking. If you can still see her eye, it's still got the same thing on there. Um, so now, 
what I'm gonna do is, is use my flea comb, okay? Um, I started uh, uh, taking some of that out. Um, just kind of go under it, lightly go under it. You wanna make sure you let the eyes soak in the water. See? Oh, Holly, baby girl. Kind of help her out lightly avoid it this is all the stuff that's in her eye she's not very happy with me right now but you know this is for the best that i remove them okay. a little bit more honey a little bit more look at that you actually have a beautiful eye you have very pretty eyes and if the dog is not letting you remove it with the um, with the flea comb, you can always use your fingers. Just kind of like scrub it, like slowly. All right, here's our eye. I'll show it to you guys after we're done washing, okay? So this is our eye after the bath. That one's pretty much the same. This is like a mole she's got under there. But... Uh, I think she just have dry eyes like you could see the skin and how it is but you know we just need the help keeping it clean for when they come to grooming so it's not a whole process to where it's painful for the dog and where the groomer again can get potentially bit just by removing the uh, eye boogers I'm sure she feels a lot better now version for the radio. So this is how she turns out with it. Oh my gosh, yes. Or eyes. Eyes a little bit, but she she let me do it. Uh -huh. Poco over here was really, really good. Poco! <laughs> He's searching for you by your Holly's Miss Energizer. 